Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopsadaPage.com and today we're going to do an unboxing and review of the Ako 3108 Dragon Ball Z Goku Edition. But before that, I would just like to inform you that we're giving away an Anpro 260% mechanical keyboard in partnership with one of our biggest channel supporter, Bango.com. So make sure you watch the entire video for the details. With that said, let's get into it. Alright guys, right here we have the packaging for the Ako 3108 Dragon Ball Z Goku Edition. There's actually a Vegeta version of this as well with its own blue and yellow colorway if you want to collect both of them. At the back of the box, we have a good representation of how the keyboard will look like with the 5 side die sub Goku spacebar. Around the packaging, we have some contact information right here, the model name, and it looks like what we have here is with Cherry MX brown switches. So without further ado, let's see what comes in the package. So inside the box, we have a nice plastic dust cover which I always find useful. And then we have the keyboard itself protected by the usual foam sleeve. Inside the box, we also have the user manual although it's kinda difficult to understand with not much English translation. Hopefully, we can find another way to check the features of this keyboard later. We also have a couple of items here inside this cover. We have an orange USB Type-C cable right here and the plugs have a cap on them which is a nice touch. And then the USB Type-C plug actually have this protrusion that should guide the cable in place inside the USB Type-C port and it is also gold plated as an added bonus. We also have a nice wire keycap puller which I always say is way better than the cheap plastic keycap puller. And lastly, we have the 7 Dragon Balls novelty keycaps. Now let's take a look at the Ako 3108 Goku Edition. As you can see, the keyboard looks really nice and vibrant with a combination of orange, yellow, and blue that perfectly showcase the colors of the character Goku. It does pack a ton of weight to it of around 1,191 grams which is pretty heavy but that's okay given the good build quality of this keyboard. Although made of plastic, it doesn't flex at all which I always appreciate on a keyboard. The quality of the materials used is very good on both the Daisa BBT keycaps and the housing. At the back side of the keyboard, we can see a little bit of the USB Type-C port at the center. And then on the other side, we have a subtle Dragon Ball Z logo at the right side. Now looking at its side, as you can see, the housing is quite slim and it has an inclination right here and height adjustment flip out stand. And it actually has two levels of adjustment which is pretty cool. The top housing spans across the entire keyboard that goes around covering the bottom housing for the much more cleaner look. In addition, the keycaps profile is OEM and the housing itself is high profile hiding the switches. Looking at the back, we have 5 rubber feet and then as I've said earlier, it has 4 flip out stands, 2 on each side and all of them has rubber tip as well. At the center, we have the logo and model name and above it, we have the USB Type-C port and some cable routing channels. Looking at this keyboard and judging by the packaging, it does look pretty similar to the Durgad K320 that I recently reviewed. I don't know if they have the same manufacturer but they both have great build quality. In terms of the layout, obviously this is a full-size keyboard with 108 keys, hence the model name 3108. So aside from the usual 104 keys, we have an additional 4 here up top for the calculator, mute, and volume up and down which I find useful as well. Of course, we have the arrow keys, complete nav cluster, and the function rows up top. The layout is ANSI standard so replacing these keycaps will be a piece of cake. Although obviously you won't replace these keycaps if you're getting this keyboard because this is basically the reason why you're getting this one, right? So overall the design and colorway perfectly showcase the Goku theme. This particular keyboard I have here has Cherry MX Brown switches but it is also available in Cherry MX Red. The Cherry MX Brown is tactile and quiet with an actuation force of 55 grams. It is generally considered as a middle ground between the linear red and the clicky blue switches and I personally like this type of switch. Now comparing it with my favorite brown switch which is the Gatron Brown, the tactile bump on the Cherry MX Brown is significantly more pronounced but it is also quite scratchier compared to the Gatron Brown which is known to have a very smooth up and down travel. The brown switch is generally good for both typing because of the tactile bump as well as for gaming with its non-clicky characteristics. But as usual, as I always say, it will always depend on each person's personal preference. The keycaps is OEM profile and is made of 85% PBT with die sublimated legends. Die sublimation is another process of printing the legends by using heat and filling the PBT plastic with the die substance. Unlike pad printing, die sub legends become part of the plastic and will never fade away. The thickness of the keycaps is around 1.2mm which is decent enough especially for a hard PBT plastic keycap. Now looking closer at the novelty Goku spacebar, as you can see the quality of the die sublimation is pretty good all around the keycap and I think this is really one of the reasons why you're gonna get this, especially if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z and Goku in particular. This is certainly a collector's item with the quality of this set of keycaps and the keyboard altogether. Aside from the spacebar, we also have cool legends with the alt key, 
right shift, enter, and the extra controls up top. This keyboard, by the way, is non-backlit, so it doesn't have any LED, which makes sense since the keycaps are die sub and non-backlit anyways. But it has slots for top mount LED that you can solder if you want in the long run if you so decide to add illumination. Now when it comes to the stabilizers, it does have some rattle on it but it's not as bad as being annoying or whatnot and it also comes with some pre-applied lube. The modifiers on the other hand are better with little to no rattle. And for a better understanding of how this keyboard sounds, here's a quick typing test for you guys. And of course, quick size comparison of the three most popular layouts, the full size, the 10 keyless, and the 60% form factor. By the way, I'm also going to review the ACO 3108 Tokro World Tour for you ladies out there and gentlemen who likes pink, so make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Back in front, let's just quickly tackle some additional features of this keyboard. So although it doesn't have illumination on the switches, it has LED indicators for caps lock, num lock, and scroll lock which is quite standard for a full size keyboard. The texture of the top housing is smooth but definitely not glossy which is a plus for me. The flip out stands at the bottom with two levels of adjustment and with rubber tips are really appreciated as well as the USB Type-C port with support and some cable routing channels. Although this keyboard seems to be pretty basic compared to other keyboards that I've tried before, it still has these additional features that I appreciate. Alright guys, moving on, let's discuss the performance of this keyboard. Although it doesn't have any software, it actually has a built-in macro recording feature that you can take advantage. However, it's kinda tricky since it doesn't have a visual guide, not to mention the manual is only written in Chinese. The good thing is there is an instruction guide on the product page of Banggood that I was able to follow. It's not perfect so I'll just guide you through the process here. So to enter the macro settings layer, you just have to press F and press left windows key for a few seconds until the LED indicator starts to blink. And then press F and press escape to enter the macro mode. In this mode, you can choose any letter that you want your macro settings to be saved. In this example, I'm going to use letter A. So press F and press A to delete its current function. And then you can start typing your recording. In this example, I just type my name. Once you're done recording, just press F and press the letter again. So now if you press A, it should type our recording, which is my name. And if you want to exit the macro layer, just press F and press left windows key again and you'll be able to use the keyboard normally. I appreciate that this feature is available but I'd rather not mess with this if you ask me. I still prefer a software for this type of functionality. When it comes to performance, this keyboard features NKRO or NK rollover that allows you to press multiple keys at the same time without conflicts. And as per my testing, it is working properly as you can see here. And when it comes to the typing experience, the Cherry MX Brown switches is indeed very satisfying with its decent tactile feedback while still being relatively quiet. As I said earlier, brown switch is my favorite type of switch and it is good for both typing and gaming and you cannot go wrong with it especially with this Cherry MX variant. In terms of gaming, what I love about brown switches is that you can have perceivable feedback around the actuation point that gives you the sensation that the switch has been activated without having too much noise. The 55 grams of actuation force is also enough resistance for me when it comes to gaming, not too light as a 45 grams linear red switch and not as heavy as a 60 grams blue or black switch. Alright guys, so to conclude, the ACO 3108 Dragon Ball Z Goku Edition is certainly a novelty and collector's item mechanical keyboard that is targeted towards fans and collectors of Dragon Ball Z products while still having the same build quality and features of the ACO 3108 keyboard. The quality of the PBT die sub keycaps is decent as well as the overall build construction of the keyboard. It is also great that this comes with the original Cherry MX switches making this a complete package when it comes to premium quality. However, it lacks software support and illumination out of the box making this keyboard pretty basic than most available keyboards out there. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article link below. Thanks to Bangu.com for sending this in, you can get this from their official store link below as well. And this is actually the perfect timing to get this keyboard and other products from Banggood because they are currently having a prime sale right now that started last July 2 up to July 18. 
And I will also put a code below for additional discount if you want to get this Ako 3108 Goku and the Vegeta Edition. Also, make sure to check all the promo codes below. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, we will give away an Unpro 2 mechanical keyboard to one of you guys if this video gets 200 comments and 300 likes. That should be easy if you're a supporter of this channel. This giveaway is global and Banggood will send the keyboards directly to the winner. I will announce the winner if we met these requirements on the next video, so make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. By the way, I'm also going to review the Ako RG325 gaming mouse that perfectly matches this keyboard, so watch out for that as well. Thank you for watching, share this video and show your support, and let's get this keyboard for you guys. Have a great day.